Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Economic Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today we're talking about the resource market, buying and selling resources, particularly labor. We're looking at a perfectly competitive labor market with the market and the firm. I'm going to show you in 60 seconds. First one, the market you already got. Wage, when it's high, people aren't going to demand very many workers, right? Firms aren't going to demand a lot of workers, so demand is downward sloping, looks like this. When the wage falls like $2 an hour, the firm is going to hire a lot more workers. Okay, supply is the opposite. It's upward sloping. When the wage is small at $2, you're not going to work. But when the wage starts going up, you are going to supply your labor. It looks like this. So for this particular job, let's say $10, this is the wage. This is not selling products. This is hiring workers. So the current wage is right here at 10, and we'll just say this is 100. The question is, what does the firm look like? Well, these firms are wage takers. So take a look. Good. This is not the demand curve. In perfectly competitive product market, this was a demand curve. Now it's something different. It's supply. Here's why. For this first worker, how much are they willing to sell their labor for? Well, they can only sell their labor for the wage that's set by the market, right? This guy can sell his labor for 10. Well, why can't he sell his labor for 20? Well, if he says, hey, I'm only going to work for 20 bucks, the firms will be like, eh, I can hire anybody else for $10. Why am I going to hire you for 20? So everyone's forced, this first worker, second worker, third worker, they're all forced to sell their labor and supply their labor at a wage that's set by the market. All right? This is equal to the marginal resource cost because $10 is the additional cost of hiring an additional resource. I want to hire another worker, $10. Second worker, $10. Third worker, $10. Good. Now, how about the demand? The demand's right here. Take a look. Demand is downward sloping. It looks like this. It is equal to the marginal revenue product. All right, you hire workers right here and let's say four, which is where MRP equals MRC. That's a concept. Till next time. Bonus round. You lost me. I got lost in this last part. This downward sloping demand, MRP, I don't quite get it. Okay, pay attention. Let's make sure we understand. This first worker generates a certain amount of money. Let's say he generates $25 for my company. Right? He can produce a certain amount of output. I can sell that output. He generates $25. Because of the law of diminishing marginal returns, because of the fact that each worker adds an additional less output, this next worker, the second worker, is going to generate less revenue. So let's say he generates $20 for me. Am I going to hire him? Yeah. If he brings in $20 and it only costs me $10 to hire him, I'm going to hire him. How about this third worker? Okay, let's take a look at this one. Third worker brings in, let's say, $15. Okay, bring, he brings in $15, and, I, and he cost me $10 to hire him. I'm going to hire that worker as well. So I'm going to hire all these workers as long as the marginal revenue product is greater than the marginal resource cost. I'm going to do it until they stop, until they equal each other. But here's the point. This first worker I would never hire. The reason why is he cost me $10 to get him. His wage is $10, but he only generates something like $5 of revenue for me. I would never hire that worker. Pretty simple. Okay, wage is set by the market, demand's downward sloping, you, uh, you hire workers where MRP hits MRC. Until next time.